iron sheet. Right. Go figure. Try to try to take care of him on the road for thirty days. You have to have you some lose, great cheek stories. You, you lose your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I love you, Bubba. Uh, I was going to ask you. You have to have some great cheek stories. Cheek. Uh, Sheik is a Sheik is one of the characters or one of the wrestlers that I will have never, never, ever forget in my entire life. Uh, I'm sure everybody is going to say that or can say that. Um, he used to when when I was told that I had to take care of Sheik on the road. I didn't know it was going to be 24 <laughs> seven, all hours of the night, and you know, so. Me being a young boy, and she's a veteran, you know, you always give the veterans the respect. And he would just, you know, he had to have his beer at a certain time, had to have his cigarettes at a certain time. He had to get up at a certain time, he had to eat at a certain time. He's got to have a special baby oil to put on his face. And that was okay for a little bit, you know. And after a while, it kind of like got crazy, you know. He would do stuff where knock on my door in the morning and open the door and he would have his tights. If anybody knows she it says the tights when he goes over, it's the ones with the camels that he has on. And this is in the hallway of the hotel. He opens the door, has his tights on and his ring boots and he has his little beanie on, you know, with his world gym or gold gym tape top. It has to be some type of gym on that right. tape top for him to work. And he's sitting there and he's, he's doing his squats early in the morning. And the cigarette is saying, come on, Baba, we have to go. We can't be late, Baba, let's go, let's go. And I used to sit there and look at this man like, this dude, he's fucking nuts. He's fucking crazy, you know. And just being on the road with Cheek, it made, it made the road easy. Because you, you have nothing else to do but laugh. I mean, when you see him in the morning, you laugh. You see him walk through the arena, you laugh. <laughs> it's, 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 just a, it's just a hell of an experience that anybody doesn't know him. You've you got to be with him to be able to experience something. But he, he, he's, he's only one of a kind, man. Without a doubt. Yeah. Any good Bob Backlund stories? <clears throat> yeah, well, uh, nah, not too much. I mean, we weren't on the road too much with Bob. I, the stories that I remember just when him and she kind of, you know, get into it in the dressing room. <laughs> she could kind of just walk away and call Bob an idiot in front of me. And I didn't understand that. I was just waiting for these two to go shoot at each other, you know what I mean? Right. But uh, he wasn't around me and she too much, you know. Me and she would be always the one traveling together. Any good Paul Heyman uh, road stories or anything? Yeah, um, Paul Heyman, uh, you probably remember this. He rented a car for us, a Lincoln Town car in North Carolina. Uh, we were driving back from a town, and uh, all of a sudden we was on this two-way road, and it was dark, and of course Sam is driving, and uh, all of a sudden the car comes by us. This is a brand new Lincoln, brand new, and it was rented under Paulie's credit card. <laughs> Another car comes by, and we got splattered with a bunch of eggs. Somebody just threw eggs at us. And the car turned, get running past, of course, Sammy. You know, the guy that he is, he won't let it go. He speed up, and as he speed up, this car makes a U-turn, spins around, and now he's coming back at us. Now I'm sitting there and saying, oh shit, we're, we're gonna die out here. You know, nobody's gonna fight us, but car comes back, start throwing eggs at us again. Come to find out, when they threw eggs, at, they, they turned their inside light on. It was uh, Scott Steiner, uh, Rick Steiner, and it was Brian Pillman. So as they did that, they, they made a U-turn back. Sammy rushed up in front. Now Sammy said, okay, we're going to have some fun now, you know. He rushes out there. We drive fast, pull into a supermarket, one of those quick convenience stores. Right. We both ran out the car. He ran, he threw a $100 bill right on top of the counter, and we ran to the to the back of the store, just opened it and grabbed all the eggs we can. By the time we got outside with the eggs, they were all busted all over us. So there was one of the... One of the funny stories at the time was with Paul Heyman because by the time we got back, the next morning we were leaving at five in the morning, well, Sammy was all cut up, we had blood all over us. He decides to mark SST on top of the ceiling of the, of the brand new Lincoln Town car. 
and he parked it, and I guess they, they flipped a big bill to Paulie, and <laughs> we've never paid him back for it. <laughs>